Hello from Chinichi.com, this is Mark Josie. Today we're back on the uh, cooking vibe and uh, seems like our previous cooking videos um, did draw a bit of attention so um, most of the people seem to like the easiest stuff uh, more than the more complex stuff. So today I'll introduce a snack <laughs> idea for you guys. Uh, it's kind of a Hong Kong style kind of snack but improvised by Mark Josie. So today we'll make milk tea with um, a snack kind of bread and it's kind of like not very Chinese kind of thing it's more like uh, my own invention with the Hong Kong style kind of milk tea but you know we don't we don't always have the fancy pot and stuff so here we'll use what we have um, we use red rose this is like the normal Lipton kind of thing okay so you use the tea bag, one tea bag, very easy. And sugar, uh, I personally like three uh, tablespoon or teaspoon, whatever you call that, spoon, three spoons of sugar. Okay, and then hot water, super easy stuff. Hot water, halfway the cup, okay, halfway. Leave some space there, don't put it all up. And what you need right now is a spoon. Here we got a military uh, MRE spoon. <laughs> so you take the um, tea bag here, okay, and then you go up and down in and out of the water for about 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's about it, and then you stir around to mix the sugar. The, why we want to uh, go up and down is because you want to uh, make sure that the tea flavor is out in a very short time. And then what we want to do is get some milk, uh, the 3.25% uh, milk. We have a little container here. Okay. Canada's milk is all bagged. Okay, so you fill that up a bit until it changes color and add a little bit of cold or warm water little bit okay now the milk tea is supposed to be okay and you take the tea bag out right away don't soak that in for too long okay and now the milk tea is ready uh, if you put the tea bag inside for too long it will get bitter and the taste will not be too good if you like it uh, hot you can drink it like that or if you like the milk tea to be cold, easy, add ice. Uh, let's put some ice cube. We have some Ikea's nice, pretty ice cube with plum flower shape. <laughs> okay, so crack some ice. Now mix, and there we go. Now we'll prepare the bread. So for the bread, we need bread. And here I like um, Wonder Bread or Damster, whatever. Okay. Um, one tip here for the bread, whole wheat bread is always more filling. Um, if you like whole wheat bread, like me, okay, it's more filling. Uh, we'll take one piece and it's pretty filling for the snack actually. So one piece, take it out, put it on a plate and clip it. Okay. For bread, a little tips here. Um, the best way to store your bread and keep it fresh for a longer time is to put it inside the fridge and if you really cannot eat that fast or you bought like two sticks here you can buy, uh, put one package into the freezer and then when you want to eat it you can take it back to the uh, fridge later on and then take it out and uh, eat it. It's not the best tasting bread you get but it's, at least it's not going to like get spoiled or turn bad very fast. Stock sausage which is normal sausage. Uh, these I frozen them but one pack I take it down and open it and put it in a Ziploc bag so yeah it's easier to deal with and uh, actually we take one put it on the bread okay for cheese you just need to use one of the uh, very simple uh, like Kraft or whatever cheese and here I use um, extra thick cheese okay extra thick so open the cheese and place it on top and what we want to do is overlap like this okay 
pretty easy stuff, right? Everyone can do that. Now let's place it into the microwave and sap it for 30 seconds. Okay guys, so now basically our snack is done. You got melted cheese with sausage, okay, and bread. And of course, if you like bacon bits, you can put a bit of that on top. Okay, this is not really like fancy stuff, but you know, you can enjoy a very simple snack once a while. <laughs> And also, don't forget that the milk tea is one of the uh, Hong Kong style kind of uh, drink that they always like, and which I like. But I don't like the one they make uh, in the in the shops because um, some of them taste a bit too bitter for my uh, taste. And I actually made it the professional way before with the uh, they have like a silk um, socks, and then you have to like put all the tea leaves there and pour brew it like that the tra traditional way. And um, yeah, I tend to like this style more. It's casual, easy to make, and costs less, less hassle. And what else? It tastes better. <laughs> okay, so if you like less sweet, um, add less uh, sugar. And for the bread, okay, what you do is you sandwich it up and uh, eat it. So it's pretty easy, right? So, and here, of course, let's play some music while you enjoy me eating. And uh, this is the Chinese musical instrument called Hyun. sweetness is just right it tastes really good it's almost like coffee but without the caffeine and the um, and the and the sour and bitter kind of taste so yeah very tasty snack you know what the fun thing about this snack is the um The bacon bits, they really add that little fun experience to the whole thing because um, you really you really feel crispy, like very crunchy inside the melted cheese. So it makes this so much better. And of course the melted cheese will stick to your um, the inside of the teeth and you need to um, drink the milk tea to clear it out. Wow, amazing. So very simple snack, totally fun, simple, and you can make it in less than one minute. <laughs> mm. You see, this is like cheese sausage hot dog with normal bread. Really good. <laughs> If you like, you can add a bit of ketchup, uh, reddish, you know, the hot dog stuff, and customize it. Hmm. Good stuff. Not to mention that um, when I'm doing my workout, um, 
physical training or if I'm like um, playing a lot of music or doing a lot of physical work mm -hmm. and it consumes a lot of energy. This snack actually does fill in the gap between lunch and dinner and um, it's like it's gonna keep you survive right it's keep you surviving and you know sometimes around four to five you you don't want to eat dinner yet but it like it's too early for dinner and uh, you feel like dying because you're starving and this thing really works I think maybe um, especially with the uh, the cheese and the milk tea they provide a lot of uh, energy for uh, for for you to um, go on so pretty nice snack actually in the past when I am uh, doing my workout and training this thing actually really really does the job to uh, fuel me back up and I am uh, really drained out and it worked <laughs> so yeah, not a very expensive snack, very easy to make too, and um, it's really good. But remember that for the milk tea, if you don't like it that sweet, you can tone down the sugar. For the uh, bread, you can always add stuff and so on. So very simple idea. Hope you guys like it. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.